Uh, my name is Stephen Dima. I produce and organize the Seaport Music Festival. You are at uh, the South Street Seaport, Pier 17. And tonight, uh, we just had a fantastic evening. Two great bands, Oppenheimer from Belfast, Northern Ireland, and Hot Chip from London, England. You know, I started, uh, much like a lot of people who were into music, I, I started playing music. Uh, I was in a band for many years, and uh, and then um, I started to do shows over at the World Trade Center. Uh, I started to produce concerts over there. And uh, after September 11th, I moved everything over here and fell in love with this place. And just decided that uh, I would try and build something really, really uh, different and unique. Uh, you know, build the kind of the, the best free club in New York City, basically. That's, uh, that's what I wanted to do. But you know, I was always a fan of uh, John Peel, who, John Peel is a very famous uh, English DJ. And uh, once you were able to listen to internet radio online, I became obsessed with list listening to, he had a show on Tuesdays, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday nights uh, at 10 o'clock in the UK. So it'd be like five o'clock here. So I'd be sitting at my desk working and I would listen to him and uh, he was, a big, he, was a, he was a great champion of new music and new bands and had a great passion for, uh, for bringing new music to, to people. And I, I, I wanted to do that as well. You know, um, I had spent uh, enough time in a van going up and down, you know, the, uh, well, let's say I spent enough time in the van playing. And I just, uh, I wanted to just focus on, on building, uh, building a really great festival, you know, and, um, we're kind of like the, I like to think of us as the sort of like hipper, cooler, younger brother of like all the other major festivals in New York City. Uh, we used to call it the, the little festival that could, you know. And uh, I remember the first, the very first year, um, you know Polyphonic Spree? Have you heard Poly? They played their debut gig here. There were like five people here. So uh, that's, that's five years ago. So to kind of like, look out into tonight's crowd and, and, and remember where it sort of came from uh, is a really, really fantastic thing. And, and having been a musician and, and, know, and, and knowing the sort of difficulties of, of uh, getting, uh, getting attention, and it's very, very hard to be, uh, you know, to sort of make it as a living uh, as a musician. And, and uh, you know, there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot that comes with it, a lot of sacrifice. And I think, uh, you know, and I remember a lot of people along the way who maybe weren't so so nice and stuff, you know, it happens, the club owners, whatever. Uh, it's kind of, it can be very, very rough out there. And so I'm, you know, I think once I started to see like, hey, I can, I can really do something here and I can bring great new bands, like it's a joy for me, like this band Oppenheimer, uh, this was their first, their first show in New York City, opening for Hot Chip at the Seaport. I mean, obviously, so there's thousands of people here. That's thrilling to me, that's like amazing. You know, these two kids from their sweetest, kids I've ever met, you know, just, you know, I, I love that feeling. I wish, you know, I wish somebody had done that for me, for my band, you know what I mean? Uh, to to kind of run across somebody who's just so in love with music and especially new music and, uh, you know, for somebody that would, would get behind somebody and give somebody an opportunity. I love, I love, that's probably my favorite thing. And plus I love, you know, kind of figuring out who the, who the biggest thing is going to be. Like last year we had clap your hands, say yeah. You know, when I booked them in February, uh, it was, you know, they were the opener for uh, this other band, the Vodka, another great band. But by the time August came, it was like tonight, you know. So that's, that's pretty thrilling as well. But I love, uh, so the transition wasn't hard at all. I really, I find it a joy to sort of be able to give young musicians uh, a great opportunity. And I mean, this, what greater opportunity than to, here you go, you're in front of thousands of people, now play, you know, it's beautiful.